This video by Ufi Space, Credo, and DriveNets introduces advances made in distributed disaggregated router implementations during the past year. One year ago, Ufi Space, Credo, and DriveNets came together to create the first publicly demonstrated 96 terabit DDC router solution. This year, the trio will be talking about the advances to move the 96 terabit system to a 350 terabit capacity based on Broadcom's Jericho 2C+. First up, we'll hear from Kai Lee, Technical Sales Director at Ufi Space. Hello, my name is Kai Lee. I'm with Ufi Space here in San Jose, California. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our third generation of the DDC component called the NCP3 Network Cloud Platform 3. This is based on the latest Jericho 2 chipset family called the J2C Plus. It's a seven nanometer technology that brings in a lot more uh, logic gate into the uh, chip itself. And to drive this up to 36, 400 gate port design at full rate. Here are a couple use cases for the DDC cluster with the latest NCP3. We can position this as the core of the MPLS at the P node doing label switching on the MPLS, or we can position this as the PE provider edge talking to the CE uh, do, uh, uh, running BGP, or we can do this at the data center for spine and leaf application. These are some of the typical use case. Here are four reference architecture we came up jointly with uh, Broadcom, ourselves, and also DriveNet. The two labels on top on the green are the for the small deployment or POC. Uh, we can natively connect to NCP3 back to back using the native uh, fabric port, or we can introduce the NCF fabric with the Ramon and do the smaller uh, cluster. For the medium and the large on the bottom, we can support up to 345 terabit per second on the medium or 691 terabit for the large one. Connecting it together is Don Barnetson, Vice President of AEC Products at Credo. Hi, my name is Don Barnetson and I'm responsible for Credo's High Wire Active Electrical Cables, or AECs. This 350 terabit Jericho 2C Plus cluster that you see behind me increases capacity by 250% and power efficiency by 100% compared to the 96 terabit cluster that we showed just last year. Using AECs to connect the NCPs and NCFs consume nearly 1,400 gig cables across these three racks. Fortunately, our new LP series of 400 gig cables is up to the task. These are only four and a half watts per end and span from a half meter up to seven meters in length. I've opened the doors on this cluster to show you two different styles of AEC routing. On the left side, we've used a tray style routing to go up and over. On the right side, we've used an HPC style routing where we route laterally across from one rack to another. This HPC style routing reduces cable length and weight by about 75%, enabling a much lower cost, much more easily serviceable design. All of these products are available now, and Credo can help you with your specific cluster design and mockups. Wrapping up the video is Rana Mok, Head of Product Strategy at DriveNets. Hi, my name is Anand Mok. I'm the Head of Product Strategy for DriveNets. I'm here to introduce the new NCP, which we are adding to the Network Cloud portfolio. This new NCP is further expanding the implementation of what is actually the world's largest router and taking it to a capacity of 691 terabit per second with 400 gig interfaces which are now available at a production level capacity. In fact, for any capacity, this new NCP enables smaller carbon and physical footprint simply by enabling the full capacity of the new Jericho 2C plus ASIC. The new NCP is also backwards compatible. Coexistence of the new NCP with the existing NCP in the same cluster is a valid option. The migration path from an existing cluster to use the new NCP is provided as a guideline by DriveNets so an existing implementation can evolve into using the new devices. The new NCP is expanding the hardware resources which are available within either a standalone or a cluster implementation of the network cloud, which makes it a perfect fit for the edge cloud implementations. The cooperation of DriveNets, Eufy Space and Credo is what enables this to be the first commercial product hosting of the new Broadcom ASIC. 
This shows the strength of the ecosystem promoting disaggregated networking. Thank you for watching. To learn more about this Jericho 2C Plus DDC design, visit Ufi Space, Credo, or DriveNets.